I'm currently trying our ultimate special offers to add an extra free product and uh, at the moment it, it seems to work pretty well when we go to this booking page and we add the product unfortunately I don't know how to advertise that they should get a free product here because that would be great to actually show that up there um, or uh, as soon as they enter the web page it would be great to actually push that ad uh, straight away and, and link into the product page uh, but I don't know how to do that so the main issue I'm ha having here is with the final layout so when it, it sends the ad we add it to the cart it uh, suggests the discount now unfortunately it's not great that it doesn't allow you to select the default variant it would be great to be able to do that because some variants cost extra money and I don't want to give the whole thing for free I only want to give one the variant for free um, so right now you know a user could click that and suddenly it's not free it's costing 100 bucks it's not you know, it's a small thing, but it would be nice to be able to have a default variant that's actually selected that they can just add to the cart. Um, and so once we've actually added it to the cart, it's great that the total looks right, but the problem is, is that it's not really paying attention to our layout with this theme. It's not really working very nicely. Um, I don't know what the hell that means as a customer. It says subtotal, the alignment here is messed up. Um, I would much, I don't, I don't really know why that's happening, um, but the text positioning is just incorrect and it, it's not very clear what the person's paying. It even looks like they might pay $150 at some point. Um, I know this isn't going to happen when they finally check out, but um, this is a very nasty looking subtotal and it would be great if we could get that fixed.